The floods are coming. Will your home be underwater? Will my home be underwater? Sea level rises caused by man-made climate breakdown are likely to see almost a quarter of a million coastal properties in the UK alone at risk of severe flooding by 2050. Are you ready? Right, are you sure we're okay to film here? I'm not sure we are, but okay, all right, let's get on with it. Hi, I'm Angus. You might know me from my earlier videos, such as how to be an ethical consumer and heat waves. What is your government doing about it? But today I'm here to talk to you about coastal flooding and why you should be concerned, why you should be very concerned. I think we should be concerned. What do you I mean we should be concerned? We could. What? Under there! Shit! Shit! I think it's time to go to the studio with Angus. See you in the world! At 60 years of age, I am probably fit enough to outrun a crocodile and regale the story over dinner at home to my friends and family with ever increasing exaggeration with every telling. But by 2050, and for some people well before that, I may still be able to run, but my home may be gone. Actually, that's not strictly true. I'm actually 66 feet above sea level, so I should be okay. How far above sea level are you? Seriously, what is amazing to me is that in the UK, if I tried to buy a property with a 50 year lease, I would never, and I mean never, find anybody to give me a mortgage or lend me the money to buy it. But I could easily get a lender to lend me money to buy a home on the coast that will be so badly flooded in 30 years time as to make it unlivable. Look, before I go on here, I perhaps need to point out that this is not a uniquely UK phenomena. When sea levels rise, they rise on a global basis. So if you live by the sea, ocean, river or tributary, this applies directly to you. There is a link in the description below that allows you to put in your location and see how far above sea level you are, together with a map, a scary map, showing what locations are going to be flooded by 2050. If you do live near the coast or know someone who lives near the coast, I really would encourage you to take a look. Obviously, watch the video first, but when you are finished, take a look. The thing of it is, most people affected probably won't actually believe it. A lot like climate breakdown deniers or will think it will be okay because your government will step in also like climate breakdown deniers and build some sort of flood defense and on the latter some of you will be right but millions of people most people actually both in the developed world and worldwide will not be protected so let me explain most major cities are historically built around water or river access and for those larger affluent metropolitan areas and major ports like where I live, governments will spend billions to try and adapt or mitigate the effects of climate breakdown as they are doing in or on, is in or on Miami Beach, where there is already a $100 million project underway in the Lagorse and Lakeview neighborhoods to raise roads, install pumps and water mains and redo sewer connections over the next two years. So Lagorse is relevant, and I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, because it is a tiny, just about one square mile, but very affluent neighborhood of around 5,000 people. That, in, that is in terms of risk way behind other places in Florida for which the billions of dollars needed to set up flood defenses will simply not be available. And this will be the story all over the planet, unless your area is either ultra affluent commercially or strategically important, your home will be left to the ravages of our folly to have ignored the signs of man-made climate change for the past 50 years. This is usually the part in the video where I offer some advice, some good news, or even some humor. But the truth is, even if we stop pumping carbon into the atmosphere today, which isn't going to happen, slow insidious sea level rise and flooding are largely already baked in, baked in. So whilst we, you, continue to drive our SUVs, indulge in a largely meat-based diet, consume dairy products, 
drive to work instead of cycling, using mass transit or walking, consuming shit we don't need and flying several times a year. We, you, are literally making this planet completely, completely uninhabitable for future generations. The best advice I can give you now, apart from changing your lifestyles, is if you do live by the coast, look very closely at the sea levels. And if you are anything under about 10 foot above sea level, sell your home before it is too late. At some point, and it won't be long, first insurance companies will start charging ever increasing fees and then lenders will stop lending people money to buy your property. And when that happens, it will become worthless. And that means no inheritance for your children apart from a dying planet. Neptune won't save you. Poseidon won't save you. Your government won't save you. And good luck outrunning those crocodiles. Look, thank you for watching and please do check out the links in the description below. It makes fascinating reading and there is nothing quite like seeing a map with your home underwater to bring this message home, even to the most skeptical amongst us. The earth is getting hotter. The sea levels are rising and we are looking at displacement and unrest on a global scale never seen before in human history. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have not already done so, please do take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the little notification bell as well, I can annoy you every time I put out a new video with a that way you won't need to miss a thing. And perhaps you could show me some love by getting out your Cupid's arrow and shooting the like button. You can also share this video on any of these social media platforms. Doing all or any of these things really does help me reach a wider audience and hopefully affect positive change. And if you would like to see more of my work, why not take a look at this one or indeed this one? both fine pieces of visual doomsday art. Save yourself! Save yourself!